The Apple Switch from lightning port to USB-C is a game changer. Not only in helping you minimize the amount of cables you have, but also for the iPhone videographers of the world. Listen up as we dive into how you can record ProRes 4K video at 60 frames per second, all on your iPhone. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in 5, the show where we break down common tech woes so you can tackle things on your own all in a video that's five minutes or less. September 2023, Apple unveils their latest smartphone, the iPhone 15, to the world, boasting many upgrades over previous gens, but most notably saying bye bye to the lightning connector and hello to the USB-C. Now, there's lots you can do with the new USB-C port in addition to charging your phone, such as turning your phone into a power bank for your AirPods, Apple Watch, or even another iPhone 15. Also, you can connect the iPhone 15 to an external storage device via the USB-C port, expanding your storage to your heart's content. And most importantly, for the smartphone video content creators of the world, if you have the pro version of the smartphone, connecting the right external storage device will allow you to record high-res video directly to the drive and skip the internal storage of the iPhone 15 altogether. Now, external storage for your phone is great on its own. Offloading photos, videos, documents, and more can free up precious storage on your phone, saving you money on cloud services and saving your smartphone from running out of space. External SSDs are a great option for iPhone users looking to expand their device's storage. The advantage of external SSDs is their size, portability, and high speeds. They use flash memory and have no moving parts, resulting in faster read-write speeds, improved durability, and reliability. They're also very simple to use with the iPhone 15. Simply connect the drive using a compatible cable and move files between the two devices as needed. Both the Kingston XS2000 external SSD and the Kingston Data Traveler 80M are compatible with the iPhone 15 and are great options for those looking for fast drives with pocket-sized portability. In fact, Kingston's Data Traveler, perfect for more modest storage requirements, is a Type-C flash drive, so it can plug directly into your phone, no cable required. Fun fact, if you're someone like me with multiple devices on you at any given time, the Data Traveler Micro Duo 3C has both Type-C and Type-A interfaces for greater compatibility. Okay, now let's chat about being able to record video from your iPhone directly to a compatible external storage device and how that can mean higher res, higher quality, and longer video recordings. Since 2007, Apple's ProRes format has been used by videographers and content creators to maximize their footage, using less compression than other alternatives. But the video format uses a lot of storage space, up to 30 times the size of H.265 files. Just to put this into perspective, a 20-second ProRes 4K 60fps video takes up almost two full gigabytes of storage. Previously, on an iPhone 13 or newer, you'd need at least 10% of your phone storage free to even attempt this type of recording. Now you see why USB-C port is such a game changer. In order to even record ProRes 4K 60fps footage, Apple requires an external storage device. For this, you'll need an iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max and a drive that meets all Apple's requirements, namely a USB-C connection with support for 10 gigabits per second, write speeds of at least 220 megabyte per second, and a non-password protected drive formatted with APFS or XFAT. Coincidentally, the Kingston XS2000 with its excellent reliability and durability checks all of those boxes. Just connect the drive, open the settings app, tap camera, tap formats, and enable Apple ProRes under video capture. To record a ProRes video, open the camera app, select video, tap ProRes at the top of the screen, then record your video. The videos can be viewed directly from the iPhone using the Files app or disconnect the external drive and view the recordings on your secondary device. So what movie, music video, or YouTube series are you making with your new iPhone? Share your creations in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, share it with your filmmaking buddy, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future tech tips. My name is Trisha Hirschberger, and I will see you next time with more DIY in 5. I'm sorry, what? I thought you said you were an actor. We hired you here because you were going to get it done, and here we are, and you're sucking up a storm. You've ruined my shot. Thank you. Thank you.